Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and today we're in the kitchen. Um, I'm going to do a bake sale. We're having, let's see, our community is having a community yard sale on the 17th of July. So um, my daughters, are the whole family's got stuff to sell. We're going to have a big old yard sale. I'm going to do a bake sale. My grandkids are going to do, um, you know, like a beverage table. We're going to, we're all going to be together. But anyway, I'm doing a lot of baking and a lot of make ahead stuff. So today I'm going to show you and I'll bring you along with me on, on my baking for my bake sale. It's fun. I have a ball with it and you can make a nice little profit on it. But today I'm going to show you how I do fried hand pies um, and I'm going to do cherry and apple. I'm going to start with that. Um, probably in a few days I might be doing um, some chocolate filling for them and lemon uh, filling for some hand pies. And if I do, I'll show you how I make that too because I do that from scratch. These today, I make in the dough from scratch always, but I've got the canned cherry pie filling and canned apple pie filling. It's just easier that way. So let's get started and I'm going to show you how easy it is to put this dough together. Okay. First off, I like my mixer. For those of you who might have, you know, trouble with your hands, arthritis like I have in your hands, it's it's too hard to be kneading on dough anymore. So all I do with this is I'm going to put four cups of flour in my mixing bowl. Level, not packed, just leveled. Okay, set that aside. And to that, I am going to add two full teaspoons of salt. There's one, two. That's going to be good. Always, always the secret to a nice tender baked good is cornstarch. And right there, I got two tablespoons of it going in. Okay, perfect secret okay so with this we're going to close this down plug this in and we're just going to mix this just mix that together and we'll put it on number two might be a little louder but we're also going to take and put three quarter cups of shortening in here We're going to just let that mix until it becomes like, you know, like uh, pea size. You don't want great big chunks in there because it, it'll make a mess out of it. So we're going to let that mix and I'll be right back. Okay, friends. Now I'll show you this. We're going to take this off here because we're going to need our dough hook in a minute. See how nice that is? And it's like just small chunks. There's no great big chunks in there. Just all together incorporated nicely. That's what you want. Okay, so we're going to put our dough hook on here. Okay, and we got one cup. Let me make sure there's no ice in there. i got to get the ice out. I've got one cup of ice water. I don't mess around with little dribbles here and little dribbles there. I pour it all in and just let it go because it will mix and it will work beautifully. I don't have time for that. All right, so this is going to mix for at least 10 minutes. Can you see me? This is going to mix for at least 10 minutes and you want it to mix until it forms a nice bowl. When I get to that stage, I'll be back and I'll show you. Okay, friends. This is done. And it is to a ball. Beautiful. See that? How nice that turns out. And I just work. Let me put you down here a little bit. Okay. And then I just kind of work it so it 
all work together in a nice little ball. Flatten it out just a little bit. I'm going to put this in a Ziploc bag and I let this rest in the refrigerator. Anywhere from about an hour to um, overnight. You can also freeze it at this stage. You can do this and put it right into the freezer. And then if you're going to, when you use it, just leave it thaw out in the refrigerator overnight. And let it, let it stay in the fridge until it's completely thawed out and you can use it. And then you'll be able to make your hand pies. Okay, so now this is going to go into the refrigerator. I'm going to let it rest for about an hour to two hours. And when I'm ready to roll out my um, hand pies, I'll bring you back and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, friends. It's been, oh, a good couple hours Maybe about three hours, but I did go ahead and roll roll mine out, my dough out. It's so simple to roll out. You don't. I don't need to show you how to do that. Um, I just roll it any old way, and I use one of my seven inch plates for a guide. Anyway, I've got apple and cherry here, so this is what I'm going to show you what I do. I got my nice fry pie dough right there. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of this cherry. I'm going to put it right there. I also have a little water because I always brush a little water on these. Okay. Then I'm just going to roll this over just like so. I got my fork. I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to crimp this on both sides because I don't want it to have I don't want to have a blowout so I crimp it on both sides and then I just take this and I just trim around here any extras excess that needs to be trimmed I always put a couple little vent holes in here And there, friends, is your fry pie. Put it on my parchment paper. I got another one here. I'll show you. We'll do an apple one. Okay. Actually, the apple, I'm going to use a spoon. You don't want to do too much on here because you don't want to have a blowout. Okay, flip that around, crimp it, both sides, I crimp it on both sides, And I just trim, which this doesn't really need too much. Make sure when you put your air holes in that you're not cutting all the way through. And there is your apple fry pie. Put that on. I'm going to get the rest of these done. I showed you that. Well, I guess we can show you one more. We'll do another cherry one. Okay. We got a nice scoop of cherries here. Put that right in the middle. I always want to forget the water. Put the water on there. Flip them over. Crimp. Both sides. Trim it up a little. Put 
Put your vent holes in. And there is your fry pie. Now I'm going to get all these done. And these I'm just going to cover up with parchment paper. And these are going to go right in the freezer. I am not going to do any of these today. And then when I get ready to bake them off, oh, probably next week, then I'll go ahead and I will um, show you how I do that. I'll, I'll bake some and I'll fry some. Put them in there for a few minutes, probably a minute, a couple minutes on each side is all I do. So they're nice and golden. Okay, friends, while those are frying, I have put together a little glaze. And all I used was just a little bit of lemon juice and powdered sugar. These have been um, cooling for a little bit now, so I'm just going to put this glaze on them. And then let them finish cooling completely. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely. These ones I gotta flip over. Nice and brown. Beautiful. Let them go for about a minute or so on the other side. Okay. And that, friends, is how gorgeous they turn out. So there you have it. Make sure you give this recipe a try. It works out beautiful. And if you want to do a bake sale, they make a wonderful profit maker in a bake sale. There you have it, friends. Thanks for watching.